You want to know how I got these scars? Martha! Why'd you say that name? What's choppin' Revere's? He's Mike. And he's quite hung. And today we're going to come at you with something a little special. We're going to talk about why Suicide Squad needs to be amazing. Warner Brothers has been going through some issues lately. Uh, not financial, but definitely critical. And they're in some trouble with the fans, I would say. Right, because with coming off Batman v Superman, everyone was just finding issue after issue with it. You know, the whole thing came out, oh, Disney pays for people to review this film poorly. No, it just was a poorly put together film. What's the most frustrating part about everything is that there's 75 years of source material that they just didn't follow. Right. And they know that, you know, Suicide Squad is as hyped up, if not more, than BVS was. And they're coming off of two films that underperformed. You can say what you want. I personally fucking loved Man of Steel. I did not think that movie was a misstep in any way other than maybe possibly just shouldn't have been a neck snap. We'll talk about this another time. <laughs> but. My co-host here is on the other side of that spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> but Suicide Squad needs to be a home run or else people are going to really start losing I wouldn't even it. say it needs to be a home run. It needs to be a good film with good critical response. It doesn't have to make a billion dollars. That movie does not need to be a financial summer blockbuster. But this movie is kind of like, you know like that girlfriend that just keeps cheating on you and you really want to love her? No. But she just keeps hurting you? No. And this That's Warner Brothers. I wouldn't know that. I want to love her, but they just keep letting me down. I know porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who aren't familiar with the comics or any of the storylines from Suicide Squad, you got a team of super criminals that are basically put together by one person, usually Amanda Waller, and said, all right, we've put a chip in your brain, and if you don't do what we want, we're going to blow up your head. Uh, in this film, you're going to see Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, which is, will be Harley Quinn's first on-screen appearance ever portrayed by anyone other than the great Tara Strong voice actress. Will Smith as Deadshot, which should cause some controversy because normally Floyd Lawton is played by a white actor as he's portrayed in the comics I have no problem with this because Will Smith is fucking talented Cara Delevingne who's pretty but can she act the world may never know Ben Affleck returning as uh, Martha's son Jared Leto 30 seconds to the Joker Scott Eastwood aka not Clint Eastwood Jai Courtney why is he still getting jobs Joel Kinnaman. Have you ever heard of Joel Kinnaman? No, that's the first time I ever heard his name. It's coming no. out of your mouth. This one's going to be a mouthful. Adowell Akinu Adagababaje. <laughs> Waylon Jones, a.k.a. Killer Croc. I'm excited for him. Did you yeah. ever see Lost? Yes. He was Mr. Echo in Lost. Oh. So he's got a yes. big fucking presence, dude. You're right. Okay. And uh, the fucking supremely talented Viola Davis as mm -hmm. uh, Amanda Waller. Yeah. Then you got a couple of side characters, uh, Karen Fukuhara as uh, Katana, which will be the second portrayal on screen we've had of her. We had, I forget who played her in Arrow, but she was featured in that show for a couple episodes. And then you got a couple other characters, but those are the main ones. Yeah, and at my core, I'm a comic book guy. I, I collect them, I love them, and even more so, I'm a Batman guy. I like the shows. Oh man, the comics, I love the comics, but regardless... Margot Rob I love Margot Robbie. If you remember our review on Tarzan, she was my favorite part. Will Smith, as long as Will Smith is a charismatic Will Smith, I don't think that'll be an issue. You just got ignorant fucking people out there, man. I know. I'm I'm okay with Will Smith. I mean, if you, his talent is talent. His Put resume it in the speaks film. for himself. It's yeah. But the issue, not to skip over all the other casting people, but the big three, I I think I have an issue with Jared Leto. Not the casting of Jared Leto but of how they're portraying him so far. 
Because if you look at him, I don't think Joker's going to get a bunch of tattoos on him. You mean his physical appearance? Correct. That's not really the portrayal, I would say. I would say that's more his. I guess the the appearance of him. Yeah. Because I don't think he's going to sit down and sit for eight hours getting all those tattoos. I agree with you 100%. I I don't think he is going to... He would kill the guy (laughs) far before he finishes all those tattoos. Show him a pencil trick. Right. The, The only thing is, and this is where I always say comic book purists piss me off and you're in no way a comic book purist we enjoy films with whatever leeway they take with those characters I think this is just going to be one of those things where it's like you know what I don't really like it but the character itself was pretty awesome right but where people might just enjoy it is the fact that it's happening like the reason some people can did you ever think we'd get another Joker after Heath Ledger no I really didn't I mean he, he killed it so and himself Funny. (laughs) But the reason some people like Batman v Superman is the fact that the big three are on screen and that's sometimes good enough for for people. You sell your parademons, you get the big three, that's good enough. So that's where I think this movie might make some ground is where we're getting a Suicide Squad that I don't think I'd... I never would have thought we'd get a Suicide Squad. So that's where some people are like, all right, cool. We're get, we're at least getting it. Warner Brothers knows how big this movie is going to be for them based on one simple thing they did. Arrow, which has gotten to be shit lately, had a awesome run where they were going to spin off Suicide Squad instead of Legends of Tomorrow. It was going to be a spin off for Suicide Squad first. And they said, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. We're doing a movie of this. You can't do this. This will confuse people. Yet it's okay for them to do with the Flash. But, like, they're crushing it with uh, their TV stuff. Like, Supergirl's great, Flash is great. Arrow's kind of falling off. It was good for, like, the first two seasons. But Agreed. Agreed. I haven't really watched Supergirl yet. Uh, I haven't really touched Legends of Tomorrow either. I haven't really watched that either. I heard there's a lot of hope for when, uh... Well, I fucking loved Legends of Tomorrow. Right. Check that out. But same thing with kind of... Batman v Superman, they have a bunch of source material that they can play with. 75 years, people. So I hope they actually listen, because they have a formula that works. I hope they just follow How many weeks did he use guns in that? Two? Before they changed it to he doesn't use fucking guns? Right. Zack Snyder, are you listening? (laughs) He doesn't use guns even in dreams. The Bat brand of justice. I like that. He, 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 no, I liked it because it's a physical metaphor for his version of justice. But I like he's it. killing people. Is he though? He is. He's branding them and then they get killed. So he's killing them. Nah, you, you kill a pedophile here and there. What's what's the big deal? All right. What I what I do have hope for in this film is the fact that they have such a big cast where someone's gonna die. You're gonna show it. They're gonna be really cool to play around with the characters. I think it's gonna be Slipknot. Most likely. I mean, he's in part of the trailers, and then he's not there. Well, because there's that one scene where you kind of see someone, like, jumping away from the crowd of villains. So I think they, they're they definitely going to kill someone trying to escape. Yeah, I, I just want to see the classic uh, head blown up. I mean, there's a great animated film called Assault on Arkham. Mm-hmm. That's the Suicide Squad, and they have uh, King Shark in it. Yep. And he gets his fucking head blown off. Which in animated is awesome. Right. What I if they just if Warner Brothers followed their animated storylines, I'd be so happy. I would agree for like half their films. Definitely, some of them I think only work as animated films. Like Son of Batman, I wouldn't care to see that. All right, but like Flashpoint Paradox, War. Well, who's to say they're not going to do Flashpoint Paradox? The Flash TV show just ended. Right. Spoiler alert: The Flash. TV series just ended setting up Flashpoint Paradise. Well, the first episode of season three is titled Flashpoint. Flashpoint, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so they clearly they're going that route. What's funny is Warner Brothers doesn't let the TV shows touch the big three, but that they didn't say anything about touching Martha and Thomas Wayne. They, should, if Warner Brothers are smart, they totally give them those two characters and say play around with them, have some fun with them. We know Superman's going to be in Supergirl season two. Yes, he is. They just cast. You kind of just didn't they show like this like Hot the they, they showed like the silhouette of, of him. Teen Wolf fame, yeah, yeah. They would show like hey, there's my cousin in the distance, or like the cape or something. Do, 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 do. Right, I think that was Robin Hood men in tights more than Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, either either way you look at it, the biggest challenge, the uphill battle this film has, is this is the next film after BBS. Yeah, they have to get past that. 
mountain of corpses that they left in the theater from poor critical response. Well, what they should have done is you're allowed to kill people with Suicide Squad. Yes. You can kind of pick these characters up and play with them and then just let them just kill as many people as possible because that's just what they are and that's what they do. There should be Zack Snyder level of destruction in this film. Again, are you listening, Zack Snyder? <laughs> Not when the Justice League is around. I want. I just. I don't want Zack Snyder to touch any more films. I'm okay with Zack Snyder. Oh, man, I'll, why? And I'll, I'll tell you why. Because as far as cinematography and just visuals go, there's nobody better. All right, I guess I'll give you that. You're right. He, like, other than why the fuck was Man of Steel gray? Yeah, <laughs> makes no sense. Make it fucking color. And that's what I hear they're doing with the new films going forward. Well, yeah, because Superman's, like, um, costume was always, like, that bright blue with the giant... I like the change, though, because he's not wearing underwear. I like the underwear. <laughs> that's why I love that. That's, that's the nostalgia part of Superman that I want to see. You want to see someone wearing underwear outside Absolutely. their suit. Well, I mean, I hate Superman, so they can totally just do it. Do you hate America, too? I mean, sometimes. I mean, Superman is the literal definition of an American, somebody who came here from a different place, but grew up considering himself an American. Captain America or die. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I don't know about Man of Steel yet for my own personal preference. I really think that they got probably the best cast you could going into this other than uh, Jai Courtney. Just why? (laughs) (laughs) But uh, I just want it to be good. I, I want to be able to come out of a movie theater after a Warner Brothers produced you know, comic book movie uh-huh. saying this is the characters I grew up loving. Mm-hmm. This is this is why these characters are great because they saw it and now everyone else can see it. I'm a DC guy over Marvel. I love Marvel, but I DC is what does it for me. And what, but what Marvel's doing right is they're just following DC has their better formula. stories than Marvel. Right. Yeah. And that they were should just follow those stories. They don't have to... Again, though, they don't have to follow the stories. They just have to fucking adapt them well. You can't put in... Are you listening, Zack Snyder? Three different fucking stories into one film. It doesn't work. I, it's like Warner Brothers has had the idea of let's do this, this, and this for 30 years. And they couldn't get it going after the whole you know, Burton franchise to... Uh, you know... Uh, Christopher Reeves, that's his that's fucking his name. name. Yeah, Christopher so Reeves franchise. They couldn't, they couldn't do anything after those films because they were so c- different. And they wanted to do, you know, like Superman Lives, which was the death of Superman and him coming back. Oh, no. Okay, well, we'll put that in BVS because we've been wanting to do that for 30 years. They'll love it. They'll love it. No, just create one story right around it well... Doesn't have to be great. Doesn't have to be an Oscar winner. You know, mm-hmm. Dark Knight, not not an Oscar winning film, but Heath Ledger's performance and the great script oh, he had, great, got the guy an Oscar. Mm-hmm. It it just has to be good, right? And and that's all we want as fans. We just want something we can be proud of and say, "This is for us." <laughs> Even though it's for the millions of dollars they're gonna fucking make, billions at this point. Yeah, I mean mm-hmm. if. It's, it's pretty shitty to think about that when a comic book movie comes out and it doesn't cross a billion, it's considered a failure by people. Right. To which I say, you're fucking idiots because it doesn't need to make billions of dollars. It needs to be good. If it's good and it makes two bucks, you bet your ass people are going to be talking about it. As always, he's Mike. And he's quite hung. Keep it tight, bitches.